Hi everyone, today we'll show you how to copy files or backup files to Wasabi Network. First we open up the application and then we create a job. Right click anywhere and say create a new job. We'll skip the wizard. We'll give the job a name. Copy files to Wasabi. And then the source. Source if it's local, which it is in our example, but if it was a remote location, you can click on the drop down and select the different cloud storage provider you want to copy from. In this case, we can keep it local. Click on the browse button, select share one. This is just a small folder to give you just for example purposes. Copy files instantly. Now we click on the select the destination type. In this case, we're going to select drop down and select S3 compatible storage, which is what Wasabi is. Now we want to add, uh, we want to specify connect as, so we're going to add credentials. Basically we're putting it in the credential library. Wasabi creds. Now we provide the secret key. Normally you would get those from the Wasabi website portal. We're just going to go ahead and say copy paste it, and then we type in the password. I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And then you, you want to specify your endpoint, basically any of the Wasabi endpoints. In this case, we're going to select this one, paste it. Click test. Make sure you test your credentials. And we gave it the credentials Wasabi creds. Click save. It has been by default selected since you've added it. Now we can click on the browse button and it will connect as that user credentials we provided. Click on browse. We've got all the different buckets that we have access to. In this case, we're just going to copy it to GS bucket one. Click OK. And pretty much done. You can select other options if you wanted to do so. Click save. Now to to trigger the job, you just right click on it and say start. Now the job is queued and it should run momentarily. This is just a very small job, so you can just see it in action. You can click on where it says progress and it will show you all the different jobs as they're copying. We have 16 files in this, in this job. We've already copied four. We've got four different threads running out simultaneously. And the job is at 98%. Should switch to successful once it reaches 100%. Now, what happens is once it shows successful and it's green, that means the job did not encounter any errors. So the job is copied successfully. To copy files from Wasabi, if you want to do so, pretty simple. Just double click on the job to edit it. Click on where it says source type. You can select S3 compatible storage, and then you want to select the account that you'd like to choose. Since we've already created some accounts, we can just select the account that we just recently created. We don't have to re-enter it every time. And we can click on the Browse button, browse to where we want to copy from. In this case, this was Share One. That's when we select. This is when we just copied. So we click OK, and then we can specify the destination. It could be another Wasabi bucket or it could be another location elsewhere. One thing to add here as well, if you want to streamline this process and have it run in the background, you can specify a schedule. You can say repeat and you can specify a time schedule, how often you want it to repeat, if it's once a day, multiple times a day, run daily or run specific days. And you can also check the box to run as a service, so this job would run in the background. You don't need to be logged in, nor that you have to have the application open. Hopefully this answers all your questions and uh, come back to watch additional videos. Thank you for watching.